I know. Poor connection. Okay, I think we're back on. Yay! I know, I know, I'm a bit late. Um, I was doing that thing where you're trying to get things done and then you get distracted by TikTok. Sorry if that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go and turn off my washing machine and plug this in in case we run out of battery and then we're going to do a live declutter together. Let's get ready. Okay, I'm only, yeah, I, I'm cool. I can plug this in. Say hi if you're watching live so I can say hi back. I'm Marissa if we haven't met before and I love organizing but only if it makes my life easier. So if you're the same, you know, things are a struggle and you want to get organized so that your day flows a bit more smoothly stick around because that's what we do here okay so i'm going to turn off my washing machine and i'll be right back hmm, just ignore that <laughs> what can we do about everything right okay so let's go down a little here because we're working on a drawer today and oh thank you for the like lovely say hello so i know you're here it was a bit of a rush getting ready today because yeah i got distracted by tiktok and then i looked at the time and i was like can i have a shower before i do the live can i fit that in yes but just so you know i could not fit in makeup that's okay um and i still have this feeling like oh still you know that feeling you get where you still feel rushed so we're just gonna try and calm that down Okay, so we're working on a kitchen drawer today. For those of you who are new here, we're doing live declutter sessions every Wednesday, Australian Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. But yesterday we had a power outage um, and I, I missed the notification for it, which is ironic seeing I'm quite organized normally. But yeah, I didn't get a letter or we lost the letter or the kids put the letter somewhere, I don't know. Anyway, so I didn't know it was gonna happen. So we had a power outage and I couldn't do the video, but I'm back today. So we're gonna work on a kitchen drawer. You can pick any of your kitchen drawers. You can do everyday cutlery. You can do cooking utensil stuff. You can do that random drawer where people don't actually know what's in there. Can you see it? This is mine. People don't actually know what's in there. <laughs> but for me today, I'm gonna to do the bottom drawer, which is, a whole bunch of tea towels, aprons, can you see it? Tea towels, aprons, um, cleaning cloths, that sort of thing. That's what I'm doing today. So first step, pick your drawer. You don't have to do the same as me. Basically, we're just doing this together so that we have some sort of motivation to do it. And if you wanna chat while we do it, then you can, so yeah. I'm gonna do tea towels, washcloths, what do you call these, dish cloths? Tea towels, dish cloths, aprons. I think there's gonna be a random table runner in here or a tablecloth or something like that. Oh, and oven mitts, look what I just got. The all-in-one oven mitts. My husband does most of the dinner cooking because he's a better cook than I am. And he's forever <laughs> using tea towels instead of oven mitts. And I found this, I think it was just a like a, just a local op shop and I found this for two dollars and I thought he's gonna love that so I got that I prefer this personally because look how cute they are it's like a little puppet but yeah anyway let's begin shall we so as always when we declutter hang on I'm gonna bring you up so I can sit up straight okay so as always when we're doing a declutter and organize session we have two bags one for donations one for throwing things out that are broken or nobody will want if you donate it. Um, yeah, that's what we do. And I like to make sure the bags are different colors. If you can use reusable bags, even better. I find it difficult at the moment to donate with a reusable bag because people just want you to tie the bag up and drop it off. So we've gone back to plastic bags for that reason. Um, but if you can use a reusable bag, go for it. So I use these white bags for rubbish because they're a really bad quality and they break a lot, so they're gonna end up in the bin anyway. Garbage bag ready. I like to hang it somewhere and just kind of tie it onto a, like a cupboard handle, so that's what I'm doing behind me. Just like this, hang on. See, just, whoa, okay, just tying it up. And that way I've got a rubbish bag ready to go. And then I use yellow for the donations 
because um, it's prettier. I just dropped them all on the ground. We're just going to pretend that didn't happen. Okay. I'll get that later. No one's watching. All right, so yellow ones. Um, try not to get anything too heavily scented if you're donating. Hope you can still hear me above the back. Okay, so rules of decluttering. I'm just going to tie this to my tripod so I can put stuff in there. Okay. So rules of decluttering and organizing, really, really easy because remember, we want to keep it super simple, especially if you've got toddlers or young kids home with you and you think, I'm not going to be able to do this. Remember, the big rules are start very, very small. I'm not doing the whole lot of these drawers down there. I'm just doing one drawer, right? And even then, if I get pushed for time, maybe I'm just going to take out all of this stuff and put it on the counter. I mean, that is what I'm going to do. But <laughs> I'm only going to then declutter one section at a time. So if I get interrupted, I can just sweep it all back in there and come back later when I've got another five or ten minutes. So we're just talking baby steps, bite-sized, manageable steps for decluttering, right? So we've got our two bags, one for throwing things away, phone call I'll have to call them back in a minute so next we we've got our two bags throwing things away and donating now we're just going to take everything out of the space and put it in a big open area right so I take everything out of this drawer and it's going straight on my kitchen counter I'm just going to twist you around so you can see oh, that's my ceiling <laughs> all right onto the counter can we see okay so if you can sort as you go Go ahead. So I'm basically just throwing hand towels straight up here. They don't have to be perfectly folded. Make sure your countertop is clean and dry if you're using something that you're that's gonna get wet. Dishcloths go here. Okay, I have a lot more crammed into this drawer than I thought would fit. So this is gonna be interesting. Cleaning cloths, my blue ones are for the heavy duty cleaning and my other colours are for just general stuff and dishes. But look at all these, look how many I have. I haven't even done aprons yet. These are aprons. Okay. So how many do you keep, right? Oh, tablecloth, this is a Christmas tablecloth. I probably don't need it in there. That's gonna go on the chair behind me. So how many things do you keep? Hang on. Can we see each other? Okay. So, general rule of thumb. General, I'm just going to work while we're talking. General rule of thumb. If you're not sure how many of something to keep, you've just got to take into consideration the amount of space that you have. These are reusable shopping bags. So, if you think to yourself, okay, I've got one drawer to fit all of these in, and I'm cramming this drawer full all the time. You've got to think to yourself, okay, the more I have, the more I'm going to need to wash. And I'm probably going to leave all the washing until I have a whole load. And then I have to wash them all and then I have to cram them back in. So you're always either going to be almost running out of this stuff or you're going to be working your way through a crammed full drawer. So, oh, look how cute that apron is. Absolutely no help whatsoever in cleaning, but it's adorable. I'm probably going to end up keeping it. Aha! This one is broken. This little food umbrella is broken. So that's going to go. You know, there was a part of me that wasn't sure whether I'd actually find anything broken in here today. So, yeah. This is a mop head for my Enyo mop. But we've switched back to Rubbermaid. So that's going to go in the bin. I love Enyo, it's just that Rubbermaid is easier for me to get. I can just pop down a Bunnings and get it really quickly and easily. So that's a cleaning head for that. I think I'm going to find a new home for these because they're clean, but they take up a lot of room. Aprons. Lots of aprons. I use an apron every day because then I don't have to worry about stain removal when I'm doing the laundry. Um, if my husband is watching... I wish you would wear one too, Ben, so that I don't have to worry about stain removal for your stuff. This cloth is more of a cleaning than a kitchen cloth, so that's going to go with the blue one. These sorts of things, material placemats, I'm going to switch those to linen covered. So that's kind of our next step. We take everything out and we kind of sort it in rough piles on the counter as we go. And then you're going to start just automatically thinking to yourself, you know what, some of this stuff doesn't need to belong here. Like these little doilies, I love these, but I can keep them in my linen cupboard. 
and I'll have more room for them there. And then it's for special stuff. <gasps> I didn't even think I still had this. This has been right down the bottom of my drawer the whole time and goes with this. But look guys, I just, this is so worn out now that I still, I would burn my fingers if I used it. So we're going to get rid of them. Okay, this is a random piece of netting from an old food umbrella that I don't even know what happened to the rest of it. Another reusable shopping bag, cleaning cloth. Oh, hang on, my daughter's coming in. Yeah. No, not till this afternoon when your schoolwork's all done. Thanks, honey. Yeah, after that. I've um, got Georgia learning at home with me today. She says hi. Another tea towel. I forgot I even owned this one. See what I mean? We end up with so much stuff in our cupboards that we forget is actually there. Oh, just found a whole pile of dishcloths that I didn't even think I had anymore. More shopping bags. <laughs> so there's stuff everywhere. But, okay, so... This is my Enyo oven cleaning cloth. This is a really interesting example. So what I normally do is I clean my oven every spring, like heavy duty clean it. And I hate that job every time. And I know that if you clean your oven regularly, I'm just talking about ovens because I found this in the drawer. I know that if you clean your oven regularly, it's easier to clean. But we have one of those oven trays with holes in it for pizza, which is great when you're making pizza, but horrible when you're cooking anything else because the oil drips through. No matter how many times we talk about it, people just keep using that pan for things that are not pizza, which means the oil drips down to the bottom of my oven and it still gets really gross and yucky. Anyway, so when I clean it once a year, I hate the job and I'm good at it. There's a YouTube video I have that shows you how to use these and clean your oven easily, but it's still time consuming. So I'm chucking this because from this year on, I'm going to outsource my oven cleaning. So I know it's kind of not really a cleaning hack to outsource part of your cleaning, but honestly, I am so excited to have an oven cleaning specialist come over and do my oven for me. And I've been saving up for it and I'm super happy about it. Oh, I forgot I had this one, but it's all ruined now. So that one's gonna have to go. Just a, It's an apron, it's a special one, but I can't use it anymore. Anyway. So I'm super excited to outsource the oven clean. We've got a couple of local people who um, have all the tools they need and bring them with them. It costs a couple of hundred dollars to do your oven. I think it's an extra 50 or 75 if you want to do the range hood as well. I'm doing the whole lot. And then thinking about getting rid of those pizza pans. Just thinking about it. I may not. I may just outsource the oven clean every year and never worry about it again. It's my other one that can go. All right. This is a random baking, decorating thing that can go. So I have more rubbish than I thought I would have. So that's interesting. Okay. Super old tea towel with holes can go. Oh, you know what this is? This is a pot holder for your um, saucepan handle that we never use and forgot we owned. So that's going to have to go too. All right. What is this? I don't know what this is. If anybody knows what this is, please let me know because, um, yeah, I'm stumped. Okay, we're almost empty. Really gross oven mix and go. Now we're up to the gross part we where we have to actually clean the drawer. I shouldn't show you guys this, but I will. I have lots of muck in the bottom of this drawer, which makes me go, okay, great. Maybe I need to clean everything, except that all the stuff I'm throwing away was down the bottom. So I think I'm okay. I'm going to check everything before I put it back in the drawer. Make sure it's clean. But I'm pretty confident it is. Okay. So, we've done the rubbish part. So, we're tying up the rubbish bag. All right. And that's going to go straight in the big bin. And then I don't have to think about it after that. Next, we're going to clean. Then we're going to organize. Still with me? This is the point where if you have any questions, now's the time to let me know. Because I can clean and answer as we go. Right, remember we're trying to figure out what this is. So if anybody knows, let me know. Okay, so I used microfiber cloths. I'm hoping to find a better option. These clean really, really well, but they're bad for the environment. So I'm trying not to buy any more. So if you have another option, let me know. I'm, I can just cut off old rags and t-shirts and stuff, I guess, but oh, this works so well. 
So I'm going to start with the dry sweep through. Just an easy one. And also remember if you're doing a draw, check behind mm. it and see if anything's fallen behind it. Um, ours hasn't, but if yours has, then it's time to take the drawer out and clean behind it too. Okay, so that's the dry wipe through. I'm just going to wet the cloth now. And I'm going to add just a touch of dishwashing liquid so that I can clean easily. Oh, that water's freezing. Hang on. So while I'm doing that, everybody just look at my legs. Okay, so while I'm cleaning, I'm going to come down for this bit. While I'm doing the cleaning part, I want to let you guys know we have a new spring cleaning program and it's called the Simple Spring Clean. And it's amazing because it's got all my little hacks in it on how to get things done for your spring clean while you've got kids at home with you or while you're juggling working from home or while you're outside of the house part of the time and you don't have a lot of time available to spring clean. It's basically here are all the quick and easy hacks that I do in spring cleaning with me and my one-on-one -on -one clients when I used to go to their houses. Here's what we did hack-wise to make it quicker and easier and way more enjoyable. And how to fit it in around life. And that is available now. It's got some videos on my favorite hacks and then it has checklists on each room in the house so that you can um, clean really, really easily. Just go from top to bottom, do the whole spring clean one room at a time, nice and easy, and then you're good to go. So the program's available on the link for this video if you wanna go and check it out. Once you buy it, you have access to it for, you know, whenever. So go ahead and grab it. Okay, we're done. I just got a comment about the thing. Stevie, the thingy thing I believe is used for draining water from your pot or container so the food doesn't fall out. Yeah, I think that's right. That is so clever. And yet I never use, I never use it. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna donate it, but I'm gonna wash it first. So, I will pop that in the sink and we'll give that a wash and then I'll pop it in the donations. Stevie, you're a legend. Thank you so much for letting me know. Okay, time to dry off. Just grab a tea towel. Oh, handy, we have a bunch of them here. And I'm gonna dry this drawer. That was easy. And now we're gonna put things away. So, Christmas tablecloth is going back in first. Look how cute this is. Can you see that? It's only, is it three and a half months or four and a half months till Christmas? Anyway, it's not long now before we can start watching Hallmark movies. <laughs> it can't be just me that loves them, right? Okay. I'm very bad at folding this, but that's okay. Because we don't have to do it perfectly if we don't want to, do we? So I'll give it a go, but I'm not making any promises. Yeah, we're not going to make any <laughs> promises. Neat and tidy, not perfect. Okay, so... I like to roll, so there we go. Less wrinkles when you're rolling and you tend to fit more stuff in as well. Next into the drawer is the stuff that we don't use as often as other things. So for me, that's a tough one because everything I've got on the counter now is still stuff that I use all the time. So I think what we're gonna do then is just separate into sections. Doilies are gonna go out into the linen cupboard. So that will get put over here. Food umbrella needs to go on the top because I'm gonna use that, I use that pretty much every day. You know what? I think I'm just gonna go in sections instead of least used because I've run out of least used. Let's go with hand towels. You wanna try and get them folded uniformly, but honestly, if you can't, it's not a deal breaker. As long as they're in there and they're clean and you can grab them easily and then put them away easily, that's really gonna make a big difference. So sections work well for that reason. If you get into a habit of knowing which section things belong in, then it's easier to quickly grab them and it's easier to quickly put them away. And 
The theory is other people will be able to grab them and quickly put them away as well. How successful that's going to be, yeah, that really depends on who you're living with and how much they care about neat and tidy stuff. But that's the goal. This is my favourite hand towel. It's from my friend Jodie, who we love friends, so it's got central perk on it. <sighs> Hi Jodie, if you're watching. <laughs> We're friends obsessed. It's one of those things that we used to watch it every week together. And we still remember all the main parts of it. No one understands my friend's obsession like she does. Okay, so these are neat and tidy and they're just going in this section here. So I grab hand towels pretty much every day. So they're gonna go at the front. Can you see that? Can I swipe you over so you can see? I think you can. Okay, so they're at the front section here. These placemats I don't use as often. So they're gonna go towards the back. But yeah, same thing, just gonna fold them. Don't mind my dogs, they're still learning their manners. They tend to poppy bark the rest of the dogs in the neighborhood. Yeah, someone's walking their dog past our driveway. So these, nice and neat and tidy, I use them all in one go normally, so I'm just gonna fold them together so they're easy to grab. Okay, great. So now we're gonna move on to tea towels. Oh no, aprons, we're gonna do aprons everybody. Hang on. I'm coming back. I did not just trip over anything. All right, this is my apron collection. Does anybody else use aprons anymore or is that just me? Because I have quite a collection. I'll show you my faves. Okay. Hang on, favourites first. But I keep all of them because they're all really handy. Shall we do a sto the story of my apron collection, everybody? Okay, this one is my absolute favorite. Ready? Oh, no, you just wreck your clothes. That's exactly what I just said about Ben. I would rather he wear an apron because it's me that does the laundry, so, you know. But no, he's like, no, I don't need an apron when I barbecue. But look, look how pretty. Right? I mean, come on. So I wear them in the school canteen as well, back when we used to actually be able to go and help at the school. We can't at the moment because of the coronavirus. But anyway, that was my favorite apron to wear at school canteen as well. And I know it's a little bit like back in time, but I don't know, I just get more motivated to do stuff when I have a nice apron. But this one does nothing for protecting the clothes ready, but look how adorable it is. Oh my gosh. See? I mean, that's my, this is probably more a fancy dress apron, to be honest. I think this is kind of like my little house on the prairie vibes. Or like, um, you know, like olden times. I'm the, wor I'm the worst history person. Okay, so that one's going to the back because it's cute and it's pretty. Um, and I want to keep it nice. Okay, this I got for my birthday a couple of years ago from my friend Morgan. I love it. Look at these. It's got pockets. Ready? Pockets. It's got three pockets. The only downside is when I have a, um, you know when you put that thing on the cupboard door, you know, like in here where you can hang stuff? Yeah, these little hooky parts, for some reason, always get caught on this apron. So that's a bit of a down downer, but I think that's more about my height than the actual apron. Okay, so pretty aprons are together at the back. Oh, this is my one that I got for my birthday too. This has a pocket as well. Look how cute this pocket is. This is basically becoming less about organizing and more about just showing off Marissa's aprons. But that's because we've done all the hard work already. But if you are decluttering at home with me, hopefully we've done the two bags, one for throwing away, one for donating, and just kind of haphazardly sort them as you go. If you've done that, then you're up. So, my um, not as pretty but very handy aprons are going into the same area. 
Uh oh, this one's from <laughs> this one's from the school. <laughs> Sorry, Kylie. I'll give this back at some point. All right. So basically, yeah, we've done the are we throwing away or donating? We've done the take everything out and put it aside. Now we're putting everything back in and we're making sure that our places that we put things make them easy to take out and easy to put back. That's kind of your golden rule with this sort of stuff, to be honest. As long as you can grab it quickly and easily and put it back easily when you want to put things away again, pretty much your whole battle's taken care of because I think as parents, we spend most of our time pretty much just picking up after other people. So there's a lot of incidental jobs that we do during the day, right? That when you add them up, they take time, but in the moment they seem tiny and everyone's like, why do you even bother? This is my remind me of my waitressing days apron because it's the half one and it's black. So you can't get stains on it. I used to waitress in my 20s. Started at 18, went through to about 23 and then moved into banking. All right, that's another black one. Oh, kids aprons. One's just a, this one's just a little Tupperware apron, fits my youngest. So I'm gonna show you how I'm organizing these now because aprons I roll so that I can quickly grab and go because that's my whole thing, right? Grab and go. I wonder if you can see if I tilt you down. Let me know if you can't, but Okay, so we've got tea towels and aprons all rolled up and stacked together at the back there. And I can kind of just insert them. Oh, that's not a good sign. I don't know which apron this goes with, but actually I think it's the one I just picked up. Let's have a look, shall we? Yep, okay. So this one's going to get mended because it's missing a tie. This is a school one as well. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. I think I'm the only one that wears them at the school canteen though. Okay, so this one's going aside, so we're going to fix it. It just goes in a box. I have, um, I know it sounds old fashioned, but I have a mending box. So basically anything with a hole in it that needs to get fixed. Oh, look how cute this one is. This is my daughter's. She got it for Christmas with a cookie baking set but I borrow it a lot. Yeah, so a mending box is basically anything gets a small rip or a hole or a tear, just goes straight in the box. And then when I'm watching Outlander episodes on Netflix, then that's when I fix things and mend things. All right, so we're down to tea towels, dishcloths and oven meats. Oven meats always go on the top because we grab them to take stuff out of the oven. Well, <laughs> we're learning so much about each other, aren't we? Okay, tea towels. Same thing, just fold them up nice and neat. This is my favorite, I got it in Serbia last year. Very cute. Yep, just fold them up nice and neat. And the smaller the better with tea towels, I think, because then they're easier to pick up. Sorry if this is getting a little on the boring side. If you're like, hey, we didn't come here to fold tea towels. If that's the case and you came more for the declutter and the organizing, go ahead and check out the Simple Spring Clean program. It's available now. It's only $27. It's Australian dollars. And it's a program where I have checklists on what I do for spring cleaning room by room. Really easy to follow. And we work in this system of top to bottom, which is basically take care of your ceilings first, cobwebs, squish bugs, that sort of thing, and then work your way down your heighted sur surfaces so that by the time you get to the floors, all the dust that you kind of pick up and you create while you're spring cleaning, all of that is gone. Um, and also, I have videos in that program with my favorite hacks on how to spring clean quickly and easily, which is really, really handy if you're trying to do it around young children. So yeah, that's available. It's on the link on the video if you want to have a look. I'm getting closer to done. This looks so pretty. Should I be this excited about a neat and tidy tea towel drawer? Mm. It is what it is. This one, that's gonna be a rag. Dishcloths. 
These are just microfiber from Bunnings. $10 for a pack of 20. Looking for more environmentally friendly options, but yeah. We started buying these because I got tired of buying a new scour every single week. Like a packet of three scours. You know those ones with the yellow sponge and then they have the green scoury part on top of them? So we were buying a packet of those every week for a dollar. And that was kind of the first thing that we changed when we started thinking about slightly more sustainable options. And so these have kept really well. But I have been reading about um, tiny particles getting into the water for these. So, hey Laura. So I wanna replace these with a more sustainable option. I just don't know what to replace them with yet. That's not just random rags that don't absorb really, really well. So I'm looking for easy cleaning, streak three, streak free cleaning, that sort of thing. Okay, so these are folded nice and small. They can fit really easily. I'm gonna show you a look at everything when it's done too. Those are dishes, let's do, this is other cleaning stuff. So it gets its own little pile. This is great for mirrors. I find oven doors that sort of thing although I'm gonna outsource my oven cleaning this year and no I'm not doing it as a birthday present or a Mother's Day present or anything like that because um, we deserve better presents than that okay so oven mitts are last and food umbrella is last I'm also gonna put the reusable shopping bags in here because we grab them fast before we do the grocery shop and I think we're done. Everything else is not going back in there. Do you want to have a look? Okay. Just take you off here and flip you. How do we flip you? There we go. Okay. So, can grab aprons easily if I need to. Can grab tea towels easily if we need to. Oven mitts are easy to move over and we can grab a hand towel. Shopping bags other cleaning and dishcloths and that's it okay so we're done for today i know not all of you will have done tea towels and dishcloths and that sort of thing so whatever drawer you did in your kitchen i would love to see a photo of it so send me a before and after or if you don't have a before and after send me an after that's fine too send it to marissa at beautifullyorganized.com and i will feature it on our facebook page Okay, everybody, that's it. I'm going to go and check on my daughter. What time is it? Half past 10. Do a couple of jobs. And yeah, I'll see you all later. Thanks for joining me. Bye.